a goal and how do we set that goal? That was the question. Uh, material also is a goal. Because we look upon money as Lakshmi. So pursuit of Lakshmi and, uh, and following Dharma is, is a very very sacred goal, not to anything like But then, if you ask a child, now I'm going to ask you questions. In your small area, let us say a small town in India, <coughs> or here itself, a little remote from city, where you don't have many options. One is ill, needs to consult a doctor. I'm asking the question to children, but the questions are relevant to adults also. There is a doctor who is very pleasant. When you go to the doctor, he will receive you well, he will talk very pleasantly, he will give you candies, chocolates, and he won't even charge if one can't afford to pay. But when he prescribes the medicine, it is always wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and there is another doctor. You go to him, he will shout at you, why did you come again? Who will go to a doctor again? Unless you need to go to that person. Oh, again you have got this? Okay. Sit down. So you get frightened the way he talks. Okay. Take this medicine. And then he charges But it's always correct description. Whom you will go to? First person or second person? Huh? Which doctor will you go? Second one she says. First or second? One person is very pleasant. But gives a wrong prescription. Always like that. The second person gives you correct prescription, charges you, and not yourself. Whom you will go to? Ah, second person. You have no child. You have no child. Now, a new doctor comes to the area. He is very pleasant. He is good. He is compassionate. For the poor, he will give free medicine. And for those who can afford, he will charge. But reasonable. And this person, gives always correct prescription. His prescription is correct, very pleasant, very compassionate. Whom you will go to among the three? Mm -hmm. eh? The third person. Mm -hmm. Do you have a choice? No choice. Then anyone who will go to first person? No. Second person? No. Only third person. That means what? You have to be efficient, number one, and you have to be good also. Right? You want the doctor to be 
a good compassionate person and also efficient. We want efficiency and we want goodness also. Both you have to imbibe. Mere efficiency at the cost of goodness doesn't make it. The person doesn't make it. He doesn't pass. But you have to find your job then, whatever it is. Therefore, you may go to that fellow if you have no option. But not to the goody goody fellow, very pleasant and useless finally. We don't need that kind of people. Because these kind of people are good, okay. They don't do any harm, at least it's good. Thank God. But don't consult that fellow. You'll misguide him. But he's good. He's pleasant and therefore he doesn't harm anyone. But if you consult, you get harmed. But we need the third person. If you want the other to be third, the others want you to be what? First or second or third. All others, if you become a doctor or lawyer or engineer or anybody, What would others expect of you? Third person or second person or first person? Yeah? Third. I expect you to be the third. You expect me to be third. Both of us are third. Then we become first, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we become first. We become first. There is no choice afterwards. So you should grow into a person who, who doesn't work, who is not available for choice. Unless the other person also is like that. That's what you have to do. That's what you have to teach. The goodness has to be retained. Everybody is good. One has to retain goodness. Everybody is sane. One has to retain sanity, avoiding wrong company. Everyone is sober. One should be able to say no, correct? To alcohol, to drug. You have to say no, otherwise you are okay. You have to say no. In the world there are a lot of things. that you have to can choose. Therefore, you have to have clarity what you want to be. I want to be a person who is good in heart and learn it. Any field, it's okay, any discipline, okay. Learn it and give, make sure, compassionate, give it, not grabbing at the cost of others' happiness. That's what you want. That's what, if this is no, this is common to all cultures. So this is what we need to have. All religions should teach that. And the religion should not divide the people into believer and non-believer. For believer is one type of norms and non-believer is another type of norms. Dangerous. A non-believer can be destroyed. Because it's a non-believer. Humanity is divided into Believer and non-believer, that's the danger. Humanity should be seen as human. And what is true to you is true to me. 
what is applicable to you in terms of my behavior to you and that is applicable to me in terms of your behavior towards me. This is common. This is not negotiable. So that has to be always emphasized. And education, you have to be up to date. Everybody should know what's going on. This is an email generation. <laughs> so they have to keep themselves up. That is education. Not at the cost of common value structure. Therefore, both must be emphasized. Good education, retaining the goodness of the person. Correct? One more question I have time to answer. Anybody has a question? One more question, Swamiji will answer. Yes, yes. What are the effects of meditation? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> See, every day you have to respond to different people, right? Sometimes people are pleasant, your friends are pleasant, sometimes they are not pleasant. And you get upset. And in life also, there are different pleasant and unpleasant situations unfolding every day. And you have to respond to all of them. While responding, you pick up frustration. You pick up disappointment. And you, you pick up the sense of failure and therefore sadness is not one day. One day you can manage. Every day, every day you pick up things. And therefore, what happens? If you don't you know, cut the grass, and clean the house, vacuum, what will be the condition of your house inside? What will be the condition of the garden? Eh? If you don't clean, it will be a jungle. House will be a mess. You don't do laundry, you don't do you know, all the dishes are out, yeah? nothing is done, house is a mess. Same thing here also, you are using the mind, you are responding to the world and every day you pick up all these hurt, Anger, frustration, regrets, disappointments, failures, and you have to do housekeeping. 